Okay, what is going on, CyberX Advanced YouTubers? Welcome back to the CyberX YouTube page. As always, if you're interested in learning about cryptocurrencies, commodities, indices, foreign exchange, please go ahead and consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. In today's video breakdown, this is going to be the last time that I introduce one of the CyberX technical analysis mentors to you all. His name is Ezra. He's going to be dropping YouTube content for you all to pay attention to. In today's video breakdown, he is going to cover a trade analysis that he sent ahead of time to the CyberX group chat that played out to the T, showing you guys that we put our money where our mouth is. This is a very short video breakdown. You guys can expect more content from him on this YouTube page. I will stop introducing him to you all just to let you all know that he is dropping content on the YouTube page. Give him the same respect that you all give me. Pay attention to his analysis. He is extremely accurate with the trading strategy here at CyberX. He has implemented it profitably in his life. I hope that you all understand what it is that we're trying to portray to people here. We're not trying to give people investing advice or anything like that, but showing people from a realistic, mature trading perspective that we have a strategy that has proven consistency in this market time and time again. If you pay attention to the details, you wit out all the stuff that 90% of other traders are doing, right? Chasing mentors, chasing order blocks, chasing retail methodologies. You put that aside and you really take it upon yourself to mature in this market. You can come out on top. So without further ado, here's that breakdown from Ezra. Blessings to you guys all. Smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Without further ado, let's jump into today's video breakdown. Hey, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to the CyberX YouTube channel. I have this trade to break down for you guys on GBP JPY that played out to be over a 100 pip move called out live to our advanced CyberX students. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Okay, guys, so getting straight into this breakdown. What I identified initially in the market, let me just go ahead and rewind price here real quick. As you guys can see here, I have some things on the chart and I will get to them in order and duly fashion. So first I identified that we had consolidation at a key major level, 165000 on GJ. I saw that we expanded, created a higher low, broke structure to the upside, created a higher high in comparison to this high over here to the left. We shifted momentum, we shifted trend, we shifted structure. And I proceeded to see that we started consolidating after creating this break of structure. And what's happening here is that retail traders are selling resistance and retail traders are buying support. So this is a trap. This is a liquidity trap. And moving on into price, what I was really waiting for on Sunday was I wanted to see if the market could give a pullback into the discount region of this range from this low to this high that we created in the market to come take out early buyers in the form of this support that retail traders are seeing to then come out and take out these early sellers up here and completely clear house with those uh, retail traders that were getting caught up in retail concepts that most of the time don't work. So let me go ahead and just play price out here real quick. Boom, we trade into my point of interest, which is the discount region of this range. And we trade into the 165200 key level. I was waiting to see the market set a low, test this low over here. Let me just go ahead and mark this out for you guys. Come and test this low over here and show signs of rejection and possibly give a structural play on the lower time frame. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. I called out this trade to the team right here at about 7 p.m. PST. Now, getting back to our chart, as you guys can see, this is the 30 minute time frame, the same time frame that that screenshot was taken on and sent to the Discord chat. This is right around here where I called out the trade. And just to go ahead and show you guys uh, my entry on MT4, I closed the position out with 20 pips because that is how I trade my capital. I trade mechanical rules where I risk about 15 to 10 pips, maybe 20 pips occasionally if it's a higher time frame swing trade. And my take profit is almost always only 20 pips and I close the trade, period. Doesn't matter what I saw in the higher time frame. I always close my trades with 20 pips because that, those are my mechanical rules that I follow to grow my equity and have consistent higher highs and higher lows on my equity curve for my funded account with MentFX. So guys, Continuing watching price, this trade played out, tapped into my institutional area of interest, completely smashed the target. Again, I will just show you guys, completely smashed the target that I sent to our tra uh, our traders, our advanced traders at CyberX. 
Beautiful trade, phenomenal trade. Let me go ahead and go to the lower time frame just to kind of show you guys what my logic was here. So we set this low here at 165200 and what I was anticipating was I wanted to see if we could set a low, create a break of structure, and then create a higher low and show signs of support being created. So right here, guys, let me just draw this out. We're in a downtrend. We traded to my higher time frame area of interest, the discount region that I showed you guys on the higher time frame. We reject the 200 key level on GJ. We trade to the upside. We create a high, create a higher low, and we set another high. And at this point, we set up equal highs. So there's money here. So we set up equal highs, we set up liquidity, and then we set a higher low. So we traded into higher time frame discount. We gave a higher time frame setup in the market, created a higher low, created a high, created a new higher low, and another high. And on the five minute time frame, and right here on the higher time frame, I saw the market create a formation where we set a low. We pushed up and we created a higher low followed by a new higher high. That for me is a shift in momentum in the market. And that is why I anticipated to get an entry long for buys at a new higher low if we managed to form support and show that structure wanted to hold bullish. My MT4 entry, which I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys again over here. Going back to the 15, let's go back to the 30 minute time frame actually. Let's see if I can situate myself here. Okay, so again, my entry was right here at 165.333. I'll just go ahead and show that to you guys again on my MT4. Beautiful trade, beautiful execution. Called this out live at 7 p.m. Once again, I'm just going to remove everything on my chart and show you guys one more time. Call this out live to our students on Discord. All of our advanced Cypress students have access to the trades that I take and the trades that Cypress takes. Um, and again, it's not to give out signals. If anything, it's really just to show our students what it is we look for with the strategy that we're teaching them so that they can be successful and they can have an assist, they can get assistance in catching an eye for what it is that we're trading. If they're having any kind of issue with the course material or they just need to see someone else do it, which is a, a way that I learn personally and I find really useful to learn. You know, everybody's different. But yeah, guys, this trade was phenomenal. It played out to 100 pips. Nobody else is doing this in the market. Nobody else is calling out these trades to their students and giving them 100% transparency in how they are targeting certain areas of liquidity, targeting certain areas of institutional interest. And price plays out giving phenomenal risk to rewards without five pip stop losses, without these unrealistic short stop losses. Like, for example... I'm sure you guys have seen on Instagram, people post trades where they catch trades like this and they have, let's say, they caught this specific candle right here. And let's say that they had a 10 pip stop loss, right? And they caught this 100 pip move for a 1 to 11. That is not realistic. That is not feasible to the trader mind. Your emotions will take over and you will not be able to execute the trade properly. But anyways, guys, that's really all I have for today. This trade was phenomenal. Again, call it out live to our students at 7 p.m. PST. Y'all can check out the time on TradingView just to verify and see that I am not capping. This is legit. We do this on a weekly basis, calling out these 100 pip moves for our students. Anyways, guys, I will catch y'all in the next video. Keep it simple. Keep it Cyprex. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answer to no man, I still go. Go, 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 go. I won't stop till I make a change. I withdraw on the things I make. I turn flaws into flawless traits. I build tall, never captain space. I won't stop till I hear him say oh, oh, la, 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 la.